Hey, good morning. August Block here again. It is, gosh, coming up on 3 a.m. Uh, brewed some fresh coffee. Today is game day. Oh my God, I'm so excited. I had a hard time sleeping last night because my body was just so like uh, charged up. I got, but I did get around four hours. I know, I wish everyone, I wish I had more, that's true. But it was good deep REM sleep. I got up kind of refreshed. So that means I'm probably almost certainly gonna need to sleep in Ludeoc. But this coffee is so strong, I love it. So this is just last second get ready. I'm going to, you know, make sure my bike is dialed. I made sure it was all dialed in last night, but just final packing, um, I'm pretty much set up. Uh, just gonna clean my room so when I come back to this hotel room in five days it's like pristine and I'll be like oh peaceful place to come to but I'll keep you posted here we go cheers bon courage bon chance all right I am legit ready to roll out Paris Breast Paris 2023 let's do it baby man it feels good to be in this moment right before the ride just cruising down the streets of Rambouillet. It's really early and quiet. And, uh, it's just, it feels smooth. It's exciting. There's no one around yet. As I get closer to the starting, it's going to obviously get quite a bit more busy with all the cyclists. We'll have about, say, 1,500 to 2,000 cyclists taking off in this round in this wave. Uh, I'm in the very first wave, five o'clock. So we'll be out of there in front of the line. Yeah, we're here at the uh, first control at Rambouillet, getting ready to leave. We get the inspection, and I think we get our stamp and our first stamp on the brevet card. So cool. about 100k in right now and I'm finally the a big group broke up so it's gonna be easier to not get, risk it by filming stuff but the sun is up and the countryside's opening up this beautiful farmland out here the roads are in fantastic condition it's just been kind of thrilling cruising through all these villages and with a, a big group of riders just really fun stuff. Alrighty, more to come. Yeah, so I just went through Mortagna au Perche. It's a service stop only, not a control. 
I just topped off with water. But uh, the thing was, last time I was on this, doing this, I, I stopped there and there were tons of people just sitting around eating and stuff. And I thought, oh, we got plenty of time. And they're very casual about this. And it took me like 15 minutes to realize that everybody in there was DNFing. And they were only like, you know, 119 kilometers in. I was like, oh shit. And I panicked and I got out of there. So this time I just blew through there, topped off my water. I probably stopped less than five minutes, like three, three to four minutes. Uh, but I cannot tell you how nice this is. I mean, obviously I'm not exhausted yet and the weather's still cool, but just riding through the countryside on these beautiful roads, beautiful little villages, people are out here clapping. That's my reminder to stand up and uh, get my butt a rest. Uh, but it's just bucolic and wonderful. Now as the, uh, the big peloton is broken up, I don't know if I even call it a peloton. You know, I'm just sort of riding out here in the country by myself now. It's just kind of perfect. I really don't think there could be anything more gorgeous and, and unique than this experience. You know, it's just like, I don't I really have words for it. You know, it's just the beautiful roads, these, you know, pastures and trees and like beautiful little villages. And, you know, I just feel so fortunate. I've just arrived at the first control, Villanes, La Juel. Um, I know I'm killing these names, but made pretty good time. Seven hours and 27 minutes. And uh, yep, yeah, it's gonna go to the control here. Okay, great. I was out of the first control at 203 kilometers, easily under less than 10 minutes be seven hours and 27 minutes to get there not too bad and I just stopped for 10 so on to the next one the next is gosh I'm gonna kill all these names Fugere Fugere <laughs> I want to pronounce them in Spanish uh, 292 all right let's get rolling so it's pretty hot out right now it's probably around I don't know 85 really beautiful day but pretty warm and this, so there are a bunch of stands set up by just local people all along the route just kids with big bottles of water you know ready to fill your bottles up for you it's just, it's just wonderful and I just now stopped at one of the stands and I got a, a frozen tiramisu it was so decadent I can't tell you really nice 